Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Ellery here. It is hot today. It's either hot or I haven't worn a wig in so long. I'm like overheating in it. I'm picking up Yosh from school. We gotta go to practice. Gotta take her to get her Mexican corn because I promised her I would. And then we have a date with Chucky. And then she wanted to watch a movie. And then this is like my last day with her. Normally I wouldn't have her today, but if you watched last video, um, I switched days. So I take her to school in the morning and then she's gone for the weekend. What will not be gone is what she keeps leaving on my seat. Like, what is that? Even when I get my car washed, it's still there. So if she caused permanent crustaceans on my seat, we will have a problem. But anyways, I don't know what I'm doing this weekend besides, you know, a little cocktail because that's what i do on the weekends okay your girl deserves it i have all the stress i go through all week mind you yoshi is grounded she just stressed me out so much yesterday like i literally if i was strong and cared about like fixing stuff i would have punched a hole in the wall like that's how mad she made me because like repeating yourself every day the same thing over and over and over and over and over for 12 years does something to your mental so she had me there with her yesterday i had to ground her took, took her phone away and it's indefinitely like I'm not giving it back until she starts doing what she's supposed to do on a daily routine. Picking up a book, practicing her guitar, keeping her room clean. She has a whole calendar and don't do nothing that's on it. So I'm putting my foot down. I know y'all think I'm soft because I am, but I'm putting my foot down. And we're going to get her whipped in his shape because what she will not do is stress me out any longer. It's Chucky Day. Yay. Why do you keep writing on your hand? And why do you have cherries in your I hand? I didn't write my hand. Who did that? Dripping cherries? Who did that? Mm -hmm. Who did it? What is this a cherry? Like, we all had matching. Who did it? Where are my friends? Sorry, keep playing with me. What? I'm clearly asking for a name? name. Yes. Jeez. And why are you dropping people's name on YouTube? We'll tell whoever. Don't write on yourself. Stop doing that. Like, stop writing on yourself. There's lead and pencils. And in ink, like it goes through your skin. Your skin absorbs. Don't write on yourself. I know you was hot in that sweater because it's hot today. What? Look at my belt. That was two dollars. Yeah. You have one of those at home. That's crazy. I will never see this in my life. That's because you act like you don't want bows until you have to buy your own. Like you used to sell your own bows and didn't wear them because you said you got too old for them. Now you buying bows at twelve. That's crazy. This is for breast cancer awareness. I've never seen a breast cancer cancer awareness bow that big and that's not even how you do the ribbon it's supposed to be a ribbon not a bow but go off who cares go off you got scammed once again no who, everybody who is, who is selling that the school mm -hmm, of course <laughs> the biggest scammers of them all <laughs> all right we're heading to your guitar practice and it's chucky day it's chucky day it's chucky day <laughs> You're way too excited about it. Aww. How was practice? Ooh. Good. Do you feel like you're getting better? Like I, really good? Like being able to go fast without the music sheet? Yeah, I've pretty much memorized the majority of the song we're doing. So why don't you ever play for me? You never asked me to play. I don't shouldn't have to ask you to play. You should enjoy playing it so much. You should be like, Mom, listen to this song. Look like look look how like fly I am on this guitar. Like look I how played. I'm strumming, strumming, strumming on this I thing played, though. Uh, look how I'm flicking this flick, 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 flicking these little strings, mama. Look how look at the flick of my wrists now, mama. Look, 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 look at this now, mama. Taylor Swift could never now, mama. Like that's what you should be doing. Remember when I played it so far so clean for you? Yes, and I love that. It sounded amazing. <laughs> I bet you y'all don't even remember that. She did that, actually recorded that on YouTube, but it was so long ago, nobody probably even remembers. Sounds like we need an update. Long, it was, I don't even it remember. This okay, this year, we're like 10 months in. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm hungry now, so we're about to go. That's why I'm just... <laughs> eat, oh. eat, elotes, margaritas, taquitas, virgin taquitas. No mamacitas! <laughs> Gosh, she eats, bro. Whoa! You need to eat meat her. You it's are wrong. a lady. It doesn't matter. It doesn't mean. It's wrong! Sorry. And you got your mouth wide open. 
Use your napkin. Throw down. Wipe your face. Like I love to wipe my face from dust. You can stop talking while your mouth is full. That's for one. I see. Napkin sitting right there. So close yet so far. I literally despise the way she eats. I didn't raise her like this. Yeah. All right, we just got home. I don't know why you're sitting down because I told you when we got home, you need to get in the shower. Who said you needed to be recorded? This is my. Why is she sitting here like this too? Like she's about to go on a Dateline interview. <laughs> this is my vlog, bro. Go do what you need to do. I'm full. Hopefully she is too, so I don't have to cook dinner. I don't. I, I, you guys don't even need to see what she just did. <laughs> but anyways, it's probably gonna take her an hour and a half. Okay. <laughs> Send help. She needs to shower. She needs to pack her bag for her dad's. And hopefully, if you can do that in the next hour, it should take you 30 minutes to shower. I don't know why it would take you 30 minutes to pack a bag, but 30 minutes to pack your bag. I'm gonna give you an hour. It's 6:24. So by 7:30, you need to be back down here if you want to try to experiment with this popcorn and watch this show. Yes, ma'am. I'm a little tired. So she literally has the hour. Otherwise, I'm gonna take this hat and this wig off. This hat is cute, all right? It's from my, um, I had like a $230 voucher for some merch. This is like members, what is this in? Atlanta Hawks member, yeah. So I got two of these, one in black and white, and then I got me this gray and wet sweats, gray and wet, see, it's my creator. This gray and red sweatsuit. A t-shirt that I probably wear to bed, and oh, I got a, a starter jacket. I got some cute stuff. So hawk season actually starts next week. I don't really want to go to the next week's games. I want to go to the uh, Friday next games, but we'll see. Cause I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, I'm gonna chill here. I'm actually gonna take a nap. Shh. Look at that shaking go. I'm looking like a, a black Chucky right now. <laughs> but I can't wait till it gets like a little bit longer so I can really like. <laughs> We're getting there. I just ordered me some rosemary oil too. We getting there, baby. Okay. I didn't know you can almost like have a kitchen fire and make them popcorn. But anything is possible! You can see our first time making popcorn on Yoshi's channel tomorrow. We made this. The old fashioned way. Oh! We about to watch this show and I'm going to bed. Cause, what's not going on? All right, say goodnight. Good night. We're your friends to the end. <laughs> Andy, I'm your friend to the end. This is the end, friend. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> oh wait, you said you'd watch the trailer before it, so. Oh God. Yeah, good night, y'all. Good afternoon, y'all. Today is Friday. I'm feeling good. I haven't even had no drink yet. But I will have several, because I'm Ubering tonight. So that means, um, you still gotta be responsible, because you know, maybe back in the day day, I had an Uber taken to the wrong place and was lost, lost. And we don't need to be that drunk ever in life. So we're still gonna be responsible, but um, you know, we ain't getting behind the wheel, so we can be a little wobbly. Um, I'm going out with my friend, Jan. We're supposed to, start at this place called Tulum. I've never been there before. I've seen it on Instagram though, it's really cute. And then after that, I don't know. Right now, I just put my wig cap on. I'm about to wear a um, little red riding hood today. Mm -hmm. Do a little wave action. I might even record my makeup because it's only 2.30. Yes, I'm getting dressed really early because I'm not even going out to like nine o'clock. But I do want to record my makeup, which takes a minute. I don't want to rush. I'm singing the best of Toni Braxton right now and I wanna sip slowly, you know what I'm saying? So it's a process. I only really need like four hours, so technically I could like stop here and then start again at like, I could start at four. I'ma think about it. I'ma take a shower though first. At least I can lounge in my robe and I'm definitely putting this wig on and then I'll decide if I wanna take a little break or just like sit on the couch and look cute. Like that can be a thing, you know what I'm saying? I'm just happy today's Friday, done with work. Oh y'all, and I booked my trip. Mm, mm, mm. I told y'all I needed to get out of this 
crunchy country and my medicine is traveling like that's where i go to like take out the old battery and put a new one in so i booked two trips one uh by myself the other is a surprise for yoshi she don't watch my channel so i could actually say that um but i'm leaving in two weeks a little less than two weeks so it's a little rushed not prepared at all but i work well under pressure so that means like everything that i have to do i'm gonna start getting done like this 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 like pumping them out pumping them out getting it done getting it done and then the way my schedule is planned out because i did everything on my schedule i should be good by the time it's ready time for me to go so i'm really excited about that if you follow me on threads i said i wanted to take two more trips this year so i have i had two that i already planned and these two are going to be my last two so that's four trips in the next two and a half months i love that for me but anyways yeah about to get in the shower and i am going to manifest such an amazing night i'm going to manifest that um i'm going to pay for nothing like everybody just gonna walk in and be like, oh my gosh, she look like she need me to buy her a drink. And I'm be like, wow, how'd you know I was thirsty? Was it the drool? And then um, they're gonna be like, you know what, we going to this next spot. Let me get you an Uber. And I'm gonna be like, what? I ain't gonna buy my Uber either. This is crazy. And then he gonna get us an Uber and we gonna go to the next spot. And he gonna be like, my homeboy here. And he got a section. I'm gonna be like, what are the odds? A section? What kind of vibes y'all got? And he got, well, best of both worlds, we got tequila, vodka, and Hennessy. And I'm about to be like, what? Oh, this is crazy. Don't tell me you got a hookah. He's gonna be like, blueberry mint. I'm gonna be like, are you my boyfriend? And then um, he gonna Uber me home and I'm gonna fall asleep and just wake up and be like, wow, what a great night. You know what I'm saying? So that's my manifestation or whatever. All right, y'all, I took my time getting dressed. This is what I look like. Don't, don't mind my wigs drying right there when I... I had to re-rinse my wigs. Remember, I like washed all of them a couple of videos ago, and I had too much conditioner still in them, so it was looking real stringy, real uh, real stringy, real um, beauty supply-y. So I had to rinse them all out, and now look at us—we have body. Speaking of body, I gotta cover my tata so YouTube doesn't trip. But this is my outfit, OOTD. I believe I've. I don't know if I've worn this combo before. I know I've worn these pants like twice and I've worn this shirt like umpteen times, but I did film this makeup. It didn't turn out quite the way I wanted it to. I was going more for like gold and it's kind of like green gold, but um, we made it work. And um, if I do post it, it will be on Instagram. So make sure you follow me there. Now I'm just waiting for my friend who is behind. Don't know when she's gonna pull up, it's eight o'clock so hopefully she's here by nine because we're like 30 minutes away from where we're going and we we're supposed to kind of be there at nine so it's all good the party don't stop till i walk out <laughs> can we try it again there's too much spit in my throat it's all good the party don't stop till i walk in All right, y'all, so about last night, not all my manifestations came true, but some did, let me tell you. So we went to Tulum when we first got there. Mind you, oh my God, I'm having such bad luck with Uber drivers. This Uber driver was so bad, we were getting honked at, like literally honked at. I didn't know if we were gonna be in a road rage incident, but he was so, such a bad driver. He was going like 45 on the freeway. It took us an hour to get to where we needed to go. I don't know what was up, but I was getting bad vibrations because I was like, why is this, why, how do we have all Ubers? Why did we get this man? So then we got to Tulum, right? You know, anything that goes TikTok viral or gets popular in Atlanta just turns into a zoo. But when we got there, it wasn't, it didn't seem like it was that many people. But when we got inside, they were like, it's a two hour wait. And so we were like, how is it a two hour wait? And there's tables, but I got it. Maybe they're not, enough staff so i used the bathroom and i was like girl we're not there was nowhere to set the bar so i was like let's just let's just go somewhere else so we went outside and when we were outside waiting for the uber a guy comes up to us who i assume is either like the manager or the owner or somebody and he's like did you guys get service and we're like no they said just a two hour wait we're leaving and he was like um well just so you know, I'll have them wipe, because it had rain yesterday. He was like, I'll have them wipe down this area, and um, the waitress can come out here if you guys want to stay. So we're like, 
That sounds intriguing. We'll do that. So we canceled the Uber. We sat by the fire pit. The service, surprisingly, y'all know I'm not here for Atlanta service. The waitress was mad nice, super nice. We ordered some appetizers and some drinks. They brought me two drinks because one was made on accident. So I was like, it's the best accident if you ask me. So sit outside and chill. And then we were going to go to another spot. But um, we were like, let's wait inside for the Uber for this one because... The same guy, like, after a while, came back and asked us if we were good. And um, he was like, if y'all want to move inside, there's tables inside now. So we're like, let's just go inside and wait for the Uber inside. Because it was kind of cold last night. It's definitely fall now. So I might put on some boots today. But anyway, we went inside. Um, we got another waitress. Again, super nice. Ordering more drinks. And they accidentally made me two again. I'm just like, what type of luck is this? Because y'all know my manifestation, I was getting like drinks paid for. But for, for me, like if I'm getting double drinks, I'm only paying for one. It's kind of like BOGO. Buy one, get one. And I didn't even know that I was going to buy one and get one. So we drank again inside. And then we were like, it's 1230. Like, we don't know where we're going, so let's just, like, hit up one more place, and if it's wet, we can go home. So we went down the street to Rose Bar. As soon as we walked in, we saw, like, a spot at the bar. We're like, let's just go over there, chill over there, have order a hookah, and we can be on our way. As soon as we walked to the bar, I'm saying, like, five seconds. This is, like, how I'm not even exaggerating. As soon as we walked to the bar, this dude, he didn't ask us what our names were. How old are you? Uh, are you here with anybody? He literally was just like, whatever y'all want, whatever y'all want, it's on me. Order whatever y'all want, it's on me. And I was just like, sir! Okay, but I'm just shocked. We just got here. It was like five seconds. The waiter didn't even look our way yet. We got a hookah, and then he ordered some shots. They were super cool, and it was my manifestation. Like, they didn't want nothing from us. They were just mad nice, ordered us some drinks, some hookah. We danced, chilled, and that was it. And um, I think somebody paid for our Uber home. I don't know if it was the guys or, oh, I think it was, I don't remember. All I remember is bitch manifest because the day pretty much kind of went how I wanted. Like, I think yesterday I spent $60. That is amazing. Oh my God. And the $60 was just on the Uber to get to where we was going. So if I drove, like I wouldn't have spent no money. Okay, so what am I going to manifest today? Because I'm about to take a shower and go back outside so let me put my manifestations out there so today my manifestation is i'm gonna re-secure my edges because when i took off my scarf i was like oof how am i gonna fix this they're gonna be blended my edges are gonna be blended my wig is gonna be blended my makeup is gonna be cute i'm missing a lot of lashes but nobody's gonna be able to tell manifesting um, cause I'm going to do my makeup so well. It's going to be like, I didn't even notice you were missing a whole right eye of lashes. And I'm like, well, manifestation. Um, then I'm going to go to brunch. <sighs> See, this manifestation is going to be hard because now I'm going to be like, what a guy. Cause Bagwell is allegedly coming. So it's going to be, I got to be more realistic. Um, and then when we go somewhere to watch the game, I'm going to meet a Colorado fan and we're just going to be like, have such camaraderie that they're finally going to win. Cause you know, they lost two in a row, but they're going to win today. I'm manifesting. They're going to win today. And um, we're going to be in such a great mood. Like, oh my God, Colorado won. Like, what are we doing now? Because now I'm so excited. Um, we're going to go probably to Taj's house because I want to see my nephews. I'm going to go to Taj's house, stay there for a little bit. And then I'm going to at some point ditch Bagwell because I'm going to meet somebody way funner. I'm just going to manifest a good day. How about that? Like, that's it. I'm going to manifest a good day because I had a great day yesterday. I'm going to have a great day today. Don't know what I'm wearing, but the face card won't decline. Y'all, I have been set up. It is freezing outside, and I got two different weather reports. One person said they had on shorts, and the other person said they had on a full hoodie sweatsuit. It was hard to choose, so I went with the person that was more reliable, and I'm thinking now that she might be hot-blooded because it's cold. It's 69 degrees, and it's windy, bro, and look at me. I got titties and shoulders. <laughs> 
So I have to act like I'm not cold. I have this jacket that somebody left in my car, but it's really good with my outfit. So I'm just hoping it's not cold inside. They're already here, so. <sighs> I'm manifesting warmth. I'm manifesting warmth. Good morning. Say good morning, Brookie. No? Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> So what had happened was, we were supposed to go out last night, because last night is Saturday, that's what young people do. And I'm, I'm, I was young yesterday, because everybody kept thinking I was young, so I was just playing the role, right? And then, a couple shots later, we were still here. And I may or may not have woke up here, I may or may not have slept in my makeup, I may or may not have slept in my wig, I may or may not have done all of that. But I'm young, so I can do that. I'm Brookie, I young. Yeah, oh, you got a young latte. What, what are you doing? What are you doing? Breezy! Breezy! Oh, he, he literally ignored me. That's crazy. But we're gonna have a Sunday fun day. You wanna have a Sunday fun day? If you wanna have a Sunday fun day, raise your hand. Raise your hand. Yeah, raise your hand. All right, we, 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 we're, we're in agreement. Yeah! <laughs> Oh gosh, I don't know what time it is. All I know is that I need to be an adult. You wanna drive me home? You wanna drive me home? Yeah, yeah, you gonna drive me home? I gotta go bye-bye. Who gonna take me home? You gonna come with me? I have fun with you. <coughs> yes, that's you. <coughs> with your man chest out. You got your man chest out? <coughs> Ooh. I just watched Saul. He's still that guy and been that guy. This wig, ooh, this wig needs to come off. I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow. Get Yoshi back tomorrow. I have a lot of stuff to do tomorrow. I probably should have been home. I should have. Lati's not being responsible. But it's okay, because I got to spend all day with you. Yeah, I had a good time. All right, I'm home. I'm tired. I'm probably going to knock out as soon as I close my eyes. I left my wig on, so I don't have to do nothing when I go to my appointment tomorrow. But then I'm taking it right off after that. My throat hurts a little bit. I'm, like, really going to seriously have to consider letting go of the hookah. It's like, relax, girl. You don't need two hookahs. I need to get some control over myself with that because I always end up with a sore throat. So I'm going to reevaluate my life with that. All in all, I just hope I have a productive week. I have hella shit to get done before I go on my trip. And I know I can do it. I just got to get in the mindset. So I'm going to get some sleep tonight. Get the ball rolling tomorrow. Good night. Happy Monday! It's Monday, it was kind of my day off. It really wasn't though because Yoshi was calling me all morning to come pick her up. Like, girl, sleep in like normal kids when they got the day off of school. Like, why are you blowing my phone up? Relax. So I woke, I couldn't go to sleep after that. So I just ate, got ready for my doctor's appointment, which I just left, it's just an annual. Even though she said I have high blood pressure, which is, Never been something I've been told people were like, who is raising my blood pressure? It has to be Yoshi. But yeah, I'm just now leaving that. I'm on my way to pick her up because when I was at the doctor's appointment, she was asking me, tell me what time you're leaving. Tell me what time you're on the way. Tell me what time, what time. She's just ready to go. I don't know why. Like, I, we're not going to do anything when we get home. Like, what are you what are you going to come home so bad for? But I'm, I'm on my way to get her. Uh, we probably would just watch because she doesn't have school tomorrow either. So this is like our last day to chill because tomorrow I'm going to have to work. So we'll probably find a movie to watch and chill up by the TV, have some popcorn or something, very much something. But it's going to be a chill day because the rest of the week I kind of got a lot going on because, you know, I'm trying to get my life together before the week after. But I'm still on track. That's all that matters. I, I, I still got it together. Blood pressure a little high, but my worries are very low, you know? I had ordered Chipotle yesterday, but then when I ordered it, I wasn't hungry anymore. So I'm finishing my Chipotle bowl. She scammed me for my guac and chips per use. It's actually fireplace season two. I, have to, I had to cut on the heater today. I was excited about that because my heater, my gas bill is fixed, a fixed rate. So I can have that thing blasting and avoid this $450 electric bill that I, I get every month, you know? We're back to gas, so they can kiss my <laughs> PG-13, PG-13, it's okay. Uh, this is what I said we could watch. It's called Nowhere. I seen somebody talking about on TikTok, so I was like, this is something Dara will watch. So we're gonna try this out. 
we'll let y'all know if we like it or not. All right, we watched two movies. We watched Nowhere, Nowhere oh. which is very emotional. Um, we were trying to compare it to that movie The Fall where the girls were stuck on the tower because it's kind of the same except they're stuck in the ocean. And both very nerve wracking, but also kind of different. This one, like, we were crying. Did you cry? A little bit. You know, I just cried a little bit too. <clears throat> But anyways, then we watched You Are So Not Invited to My Bat Mitzvah. That was a cute movie. Did not have me looking forward to those type of things happening. I mean, those girls were worse. And the peer pressure and the boys and girls doing stuff for the boys. Like, I'm just like, Lord, in the name of Jesus, do not let this happen to my child. Lord, in the name of Jesus, please don't let nobody making her do nothing crazy like that and acting crazy and doing crazy things. Lord Jesus, I rebuke. Her from doing anything like that, and I would just say, "Man, um, oh, your head is greasy." Uh, but yeah, that was yeah. It's it's nerve wracking because that stuff like literally happens. But hopefully, I've raised a leader, not a follower. I didn't like the pause, but um, we're just gonna pray about it. Anyway, she's about to figure out, or we're about to figure out. I'm still full from my Chipotle, but she's getting a little hungry, so about to figure out what she's gonna eat because it's almost eight o'clock. Even though she doesn't have school tomorrow, still probably should shower and get in bed at a decent time. Cause unlike her, I have to work tomorrow. And she does too, because tomorrow we're gonna eliminate the phone again. I have a virtual learning she, tomorrow. That's exactly why we're gonna eliminate the phone. You're gonna do the virtual learning. You're gonna do your laundry, get that room together. If you still have time, get on that guitar. I also may have a little something something. I also may have a little something something. <laughs> She's usually excited. Isn't this what you want? <gasps> yeah, so you should be busy with all of your responsible things and starting your new book. Makes me smile when you're excited about reading. All right, but don't make it weird, okay? I love the smell of your books. All right, uh, Belle. We're gonna need to get you a library then. But yeah, that's our night. So I'm finally coming upstairs looking raggedy. I've been downstairs watching Ratchet TV. I was gonna take this wig off, but I don't know if I'm going to the game or not tomorrow. I don't have nobody to go with, so I kind of just want to give the tickets away. So this is the last day. And by the time I figure out if I'm going to the game or not, I'm gonna take this off. But anyways, we were supposed to spend all day together watching movies, chilling, uh, Ellen Za, mom and daughter, Yoshin Lala, and Getting, giving her the book backfired on me because she decided she wanted to go upstairs and read. She left me by myself downstairs. And then she was gonna talk about, well, I'm just gonna read a little bit. I just walked up here, mind you, it's almost 12 o'clock. I could still hear her reading. Like, I'm sure she's probably half done with the book by now. I should be excited about that, which I am, but girl. And you're reading in the dark, don't do that. No, LED light is not light. So you need to either put the book down or you need to turn the light on. But I suggest you put the book down because it's already almost midnight. That's, you're straining your eyes reading like that. Sorry, no, you need to take your makeup off. You need to take your earrings off. You need to put your pajamas on. You're being thirsty. The book's not going nowhere. You didn't even unpack your bag. Your room's a mess. Don't make me upset. You got your toothbrush right there. Th that's enough book for tonight. Reconvene tomorrow. Clean your face. Take off your pajam your clothes. Put your pajamas on. Take off them earrings and get your bed ready for bed. Thank you. No, you can get up while you walk to the bathroom and close it. Anyways, I'm about to go to bed, but tomorrow I'm gonna do a little haul because I bought a whole bunch of clothes. Just random stuff, not nothing I really, really wanted, but just like I needed a couple new swimsuits for not only my trip, but my mom's birthday coming up. Then we had to wear all red for something. I'm like red of all colors. So I had to buy a couple things that I'm gonna try on tomorrow. But I'll show y'all how it turns out. Manana. Good night. Good morning, good morning. I slept in really late while I tried to. My phone kept going off and I had to like mute it. But it's, I slept in a good enough amount. It's almost mid, not midnight, noon. Lisha got some potatoes and eggs. She's doing her online learning, as she should. And I'm about to eat my breakfast and then I'm trying to, I probably do my haul first cause I'm gonna take a shower. And then we gotta go to Target cause we're out of tissue and all things essential. I've been holding it to the last minute and now we're out of everything, so. But um, other than that, today should be a good day. All right, so I took everything I 
bought out the bag. I haven't opened them or tried anything on yet. I don't need to try all this stuff on because some of it is just cover ups, but like I'm gonna try on this. Even though they sent me two tops, I did check, I didn't pay for both of them, so that was very bad. But this, these are some tops too. This is a, like a cover up or a beach set. Same with that. These are jeans, some smaller little nighttime tops. Some big tees over here. This is a swimsuit. I think I was doing too much when I got this swimsuit. That's like the basic red dress I got for her birthday dinner. And then we have some swimsuits over there. I think this is just like a little uh, poker necklace. Two little basic pair of shoes. I needed some new mules. I don't really know if I like these ones. The ones that I got from Pretty Little Thing a bajillion years ago, they looked similar like this, except this was wood. They were more cork. And this plastic wasn't so long. It was like shorter. So I'll have to wear these one day and see if they're comfortable because they don't look it. And then I got these cute little dinner heels, little fur on them. They look pretty cute. You know, I have like plenty of black heels. These are like a little fancier. They got some fur on them, so. Now, let's see what I'm gonna try on first. All right, this is the first outfit. Don't look at my ash knees either. It's okay, it's kind of giving me Tinkerbell. Like, if I wanted to go to a Halloween party, I could just throw some wings on and put my hair in a bun and I'm Tinkerbell. And this top, it feels like I would be pulling it up all night, so I probably could have sized down with the top. But it's not bad to wear like maybe to a birthday dinner or something. I really, really wish this was tighter because the top is even cute to wear with some jeans. But I hate having to pull my stuff up all night. But it's cute for the most part. It fits better than I thought it was gonna fit. But yeah, this is the first one. So I can't really show y'all this whole swimsuit because it's a little tight at the bottom. It's giving a little too much lower cleave. Um, so I might return this one because it's also really small around the booby area. It's weird because most of the stuff I get, I order in a six, but some stuff is not booby six. It's just body six. And then some stuff is body six and not booby six. It's like they don't really fine tune the sizes as much as they used to, but I'm not really feeling this one. It's not really giving me any shape. It's not really holding me up. And it's really small at the bottom. I might return this one. Here's another more basic swimsuit. I like to wear ones like this where like I'm gonna be sitting right directly in the sun for long periods of time because you won't get the sun tan lines. But I like this, it's simple. It's a little cheeky, not too much. So we will keep her. She's a keeper. Okay, so this one I definitely don't like. I feel like I'm going to Sunday worship. It feels, the material feels like an apron. I thought it was gonna be more of like a, I don't know, material. So it looks like a tight apron. Like, I don't like it at all. I already kind of knew I was gonna like it because I usually don't wear dresses that um, go below my knee because I'm short. But I was gonna let, I was like, it's just dinner, so this might be appropriate, but no. Even on the model, this was up here was cut way different to me, so. She might have to go back because she ain't even a last resort at this point. Okay, so my excuse for this one, <laughs> for this one was I thought it was gonna be a cute picture moment. Even the, um, what's it called, sarong, whatever it is, it's, it's cute. But it's, it's, it's definitely too many flowers. I'm giving bush gardens. And as you can see, I'm covering up the top because it don't fit even a little bit. It's like making this swimsuit turn inside out. But I do like the bottom. If it wasn't see-through, I actually would make this work for dinner. But I guess I'd be doing too much. But I mean, the idea was cute, right? Jaquita banana. Yeah, but it don't fit like at all. So I gotta send both of these back. All right, here's some jeans and a top. These are those little asymmetric I guess that's what they call them jeans where the buttons not where it's supposed to be i've been wanting some baggier jeans because i've been wearing sneakers a lot more even though i hate the way they look in the back i would have to get them tailored which i probably won't do i'll just wear a belt or something i don't know this top is definitely for vacation because we're definitely out of summer it was a little tight to get on but i do like how it hugs us so that way we're not you know too flappy jappy but i like this i could even wear this together if i wanted to with some like mules or something, so they get to stay. Here is another top that's giving me a little bit of nip slip. I would have to put some tape on her because she's not small. She's actually kind of loose, but um, 
lefty's a little loosey so we would have to use some tape on that side but i like this top it's cute with some like baggy jeans and uh even some sneakers but she gets to say because i think she was cheap too i'm not gonna try on these two because they were only five dollars so i know they're see-through which isn't the greatest but i can wear these just around the hotel room because sometimes when i'm getting dressed i like to just put on something like thin like this with some shorts so they get to stay regardless because they were cheap once again i thought this top was going to be thicker but it's not super duper see-through um this strap is supposed to go on the other side of my head but it was too hard so we're just going to pretend it's over there these are some jeans too they're pretty long even when i'm on my tippy toes so i had to get them altered but i like how they fit on the butt and the thigh a little bit of room right here but if i get them tailored at the bottom i'm gonna get them pulled in in the back because i kind of like the way they fit even with this top if it was on right this would be a cute outfit so they get to stay this is another top she's surprisingly thick like i'm shocked and she fits the girls so we're pleasantly surprised with that i definitely will be using her a lot because i love tank tops like if you know you know probably wouldn't wear them with these jeans but she's still cute she gets to stay this one isn't zipped up all the way in the back but i have this particular top in like two other colors and i really like them that's why i got this black and white color it zips in the back but i can't zip it by myself but it has like the little rubber at the top to keep it from sliding down so much and it's pretty secure this one's a little longer than the other ones i have and i like this color so of course she's staying she's cute all right and these were our last pair of pants for some reason i thought this was supposed to be open they're not they're cute but just like not me this top kind of is i have tops like this y'all know i don't like wearing bras so anything that kind of just holds me in place even just a little bit she can stay can't go wrong with a long sleeve crop but i don't think i want to keep these pants plus they're a little baggy in the crotch too so now that i think about it these pants wouldn't look terrible with like a baggy tee like if i wanted to be casual but like dressed up a little bit these pants would kind of dress up a basic baggy shirt i don't know i gotta think about the pants because i'm having second thoughts but what do y'all think let me know i said i wasn't gonna try on the swimsuit cover-ups but since i'm returning some stuff i might as well try everything on just in case i don't like it their pants are usually always long with me but i can wear like a simple black bikini under this these are always good to have to throw on over a swimsuit so it is a little busy busier than i like but i'm trying to step out of my norm on vacation you know because i I'm not elderly on vacation, I'm Melody, okay? Then we have this one, I'm not gonna put this one because this one is very see-through, but she's cute. I even wear it, uh, cause this looks, it could be a shirt or a dress. Sometimes I wear these even when I don't have some suit on like. They're pretty versatile. And this is kind of just like a terry cloth set, so I don't need to try her on, she's gonna be good. But yeah, it looks like the only thing I'm taking back is the red dress the red swimsuit and the other swimsuit i'm gonna show y'all the shoe far away because that heel is crusty dusty musty disgusting they look fine these will work same with these these feel like they're gonna hurt but um i'm gonna keep them anyway because i feel like they would come in handy one day but yeah that's my haul i have a huge mess to clean up now i love that i'm about to clean this stuff up and see what yoshi's doing because i need to wash her hair and we still need to go to target and it's already 220 so gotta get out of here and we're back from Target. and in today's episode of girl what that 144 dollars and 80 cents gets you i'm not too surprised at this stuff because i needed like expensive stuff like toilet paper laundry detergent that i consider that expensive stuff because it's ten dollars and up okay actually i think it's twelve dollars and up yeah so i got some toilet paper 18 rolls of scott i got some laundry detergent and some cascades. I literally didn't have any more of these or this. That's why it was mandatory that we went. I got some foil. I don't usually buy plastic sandwich bags. I haven't bought plastic sandwich bags in probably like two years because I use uh, reusable ones because I was trying to be on my earthly thing. But sometimes I just be needing this for other stuff, like the whole stuff, not for her lunch, but just I need something to hold a handful of something. You know what I mean? So I got these. And I got some travel stuff for my trip, some toothpaste, some soap, lotion. Yoshi takes all my travel containers, so I got some more of that. I usually use baby oil gel, but they never have them in the store. I have to get those on Amazon. So I got these, just as good. Not as thick though. And she needed some makeup wipes. 
So I got this because she needs a container because she's a hot mess. So, and then some refills for me and her. Some poopery for obvious purposes. I've actually never used poopery before. But um, the gases that be going on in this house, I felt like we should probably try this out and see if we can save us some trouble. Then I got some um, sunscreen, curl refresher. This kind of for me, for my curly wig on the trip, but I'm gonna share it with her. But yeah, she don't really rock her curls like that, so that's really for me. And then, normally, if you guys know about Yoshi Scalp, I use the blue Nizarol. It um, isn't necessarily for psoriasis. The blue pack is for just anti-flake dandruff, but I don't feel like it's anti-flaking enough. Like, her stuff be thick and it'd be like two days after I wash her hair. So this seems like it was a little stronger, so we're gonna try this out on her scalp. And uh, that was it. That's $144.80 right there. Isn't that lovely? It's only five o'clock, but she's hungry, so I'm about to cook jackfruit tacos again. You guys already seen when I made those last time, if you guys watched. She enjoyed them, so I'm gonna make those really quickly. Then she's probably gonna shower and do her process. She actually is still doing homework right now, so I have to do some work too because tomorrow I'm getting my lashes done in the morning, so I'm not gonna have time to work that long in the morning. So um, yeah, we both busy right now. That's why we need to eat, and get a little energy, and get it done. Oh, I'm so tired. It's only eight o'clock though. I have not started working. I was consumed with, because my new iPhone came. <laughs> I didn't want black, but it's the only way I can get it fastest. So I was trying my best this is not to transfer so much storage over. Cause I thought they were gonna give us two terabytes, trilobytes, select TBs, whatever it's called. And they still only gave us one. And my current phone is already over halfway full. So I got consumed deleting hella stuff. And then I got in my feelings seeing hella stuff. And next thing I know it was two hours later and I'm still like scrolling through my 10,000 photos and 62,000 pictures. Um, But I did get a significant amount off. I'm gonna, even though I'm gonna transfer everything to this phone, I'm gonna still try to delete them when I get um everything transferred over. But I already know this is gonna take a long time. So I'm just trying to get started now while I'm working. That way I can have my phone when I go to bed. Cause I think this is gonna take like, last time it took four hours. Hopefully it's quick. Um, but yeah, that's it for tonight. This was a very short fall break, but like I said, I have some things to look forward to after next week. So see my little calendar up there and I still got more stuff to write on here, but I'm one of those people where I can't really use my phone calendar. I have to physically write stuff down, whether it's notes or schedules. So I already know what I have to do in order to get it done on time. It says it can't back up my iPhone because I don't have enough free space on my Mac. I'm just a hoarder everywhere. Um, yeah, so yeah, let me figure this out. And I will catch you guys on the next vlog. Like always, make sure you check out Yoshi's vlog tomorrow. She's almost at 600,000 subscribers. I mean, I'm going backwards and everything and she's moving forward. Therefore, a win is a win for me. Thank you guys for supporting my baby girl. And um, I hope you continue to support me. Till next time, love ya. Mwah.